All right, so we're playing the Eisendrock, but we've got modern warfare weapons. I totally forgot that you can't knife. I just tried to knife the zombie. Spawning in with this 1911, and honestly, it's like a one-shot headshot. It's kind of nice. You know what else is kind of nice? Hitting that subscribe button down below. Turns out in the last year, only 11% of people who watch me are actually subscribed to my channel. So please, if you enjoy the content, just hit that little button down below. It's totally free and it really, really helps me out a lot. And yeah, back into the video. But yeah, we're gonna go through and use absolutely every single gun. Quite excited to see how this is gonna go. This is my favorite zombies map of all time, but to be honest, this might be subject to change because like, I loved it when it first came out and I played it to death. And that was kind of why, like, I've not gone off it, but it just doesn't feel the same, you know? The USP, okay, decent little pistol. I mean, when you play a map for like two weeks straight and you get round 100 like seven or eight times, it does get a little bit, eh, you know, start opening up some doors. I do want to eventually beat the Easter egg. Hello, can I lie down? There we go. I want to beat the Easter egg eventually on the Ryzen drug. Oh my god, this hip fire is awful. I mean, it absolutely destroys in a one shot headshot, but. Oh, we've rotated. Hello, Magnum. Absolute classic. Oh, listen to that. One of the coolest weapons ever. We've got 40 guns left, so you know, we're going to be here for probably a while. Phew. Okay, that's the round. Shield part, there we go. We can actually build the shield on this map, which is interesting. Usually with weapon pack mods, they don't let you because, well, you're not allowed to use the shield because it would, like, count as giving you points or something. I don't know, because the way that the system works in this gun game mod is every single time you get points, it moves you onto the next gun. Hello? With the hip fire, dude. Do I need dead shot? Is that, is that the issue here? Oh, we pack a punched. The Tyrone and Latoya. Interesting name. Is it explosive? It's not, but it looks cool. Pew, pew, I knew we are off it. BR9, don't remember this one. Looks a bit like a Luger. Got some pretty cool sounding uh, shots as well. I wonder if this Modern Warfare mod, I just got demoted. That's nice. Random zombie. One zombie just decides to like completely cuck me. I was gonna say, I'm wondering if this is the Modern Warfare like 2006, is that when it came out? I don't know, the original COD 4. I wonder if it's that mod pack or if it's Modern Warfare 2019 guns, because these do feel quite new, so. All right, turn the power on. Go ahead and lie down by the old stamina. Gotta get off this bloody Magnum again. Right, back on the, uh, the BR9. So yeah, it's all about point maximization. You can't get melee kills, so obviously going for headshots is the fastest way to progress with the guns. So here we go. The Rangers Akimbo. Oh, of course, dude. How could you play this game and not have Rangers? Absolute classic from Modern Warfare. You know, I'm not a huge multiplayer fan, but you've got to admit the Rangers are like some of the most iconic weapons in COD history. Oh, we got a free perk. What's this going to be? It's nothing. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I mean, we probably did get something, but it just doesn't show up. It could be PhD. We don't have any grenades, so I can't exactly check. Oh, we've actually got uh, dogs. Interesting. Pew, pew, pew. Shotguns against the dogs are obviously very good. Oh, we got a singular ranger this time. Interesting. I'm wondering, was Modern Warfare the first one, like COD 4, the very first game to have akimbo weapons? Get that next shield part. I'm pretty sure it was because COD 1, 2, and 3 were all set in the past. They're like, you know, old timey COD games. Oh, actually, I think I know what perk we got because, yeah, you can see there's like this little effect every time we shoot now. I think it's like explosive bullets or something. Go ahead and buy Jug real quick because, you know, the staple of playing zombies always buy Jug. That's why, like, I understand what they were going for with Black Ops 4 with getting rid of Jug because, yeah, it is a crutch perk. You buy it every single game, but it's just like. There's a reason why it's a crutch perk. If you're gonna input, like, get rid of Jug, at least have a good system. Like, I don't know. Cold War did a lot better with the armor system, but then it has Jug anyway, so. Also, I'm not gonna lie, this Winchester. Pretty satisfying. Now we're on the M1014. I do love shotguns, especially in multiplayer. My favorite gun category. It's nice as well because we're playing Horizon, but we don't have to worry about, like, filling up the dragons. All right, one more kill, and then... Oh my god, I just... They, like, I swear to god, they coordinate slamming me in a sandwich, dude. Like, literally, I'm getting sandwiched by the zombies. They're, like, they're calling out to each other, saying, Oh yeah, I'll go left, you go right, I'll get him on the behind. Like, bro, it doesn't need to be so tactical. It's just a gun game mod, dude. Anyway, we're on the Kamchatka. Oh yeah, this is definitely Modern Warfare Remastered. It could be a mix of, like, all the uh, Modern Warfare guns. But this was definitely in Modern Warfare Remastered. I remember it exclusively being a DLC gun. Or like a supply drop exclusive, I think. 
All right, let's go ahead and teleport because we want to go and give this pack a punch thing sorted as quick as possible. Because if we get a really bad gun, I do actually want to pap. While we're up here as well, let's go and buy double tap because, you know, it's just, it's too iconic. My absolute favorite perk in any COD Zombies game. It's just the most fun. Like, even if you take into consideration Jug, you don't require it as much as Double Tap, really, because unless you're getting hit multiple times, then Double Tap is just always going to be more effective. If you're a good Zombies player and you don't get hit all the time, then Jug is, like, almost never useful until you're about to go down. Also, RPG, just take out that entire horde. The PK PSD9. Can't say I remember this gun, but it is a burst, which is cool. With like little to no recoil. Pew pew pew, that the round, nice. Round 10. Guess we'll build that shield really quickly. Oh, never mind. We uh we're missing one. Oh yeah, we didn't do the bloody the standing on the pad thing. Alright, last one. Okay, MP5. Oh, nice. And there is the shield part. I see you up here. Ow, zombies, chill. I did love the MP5 in MW 2019. Very, very good gun one of the best SMGs. I think MW 2019 was the last Modern Warfare game I played. I mean, not including MW 2. I did play that a little bit, but I'm talking about like properly played. Like I've just not been interested in multiplayer much. That was a very fast Uzi. Oh God, hello. Did we get some kind of a pack a punch drop back here or am I blind? No, just being stupid. The Fang 45, okay. We need literally 20 points to go onto the next gun. That's just typical, isn't it? Go ahead and buy Speed Cola. I guess we could hit up the Wonder Fizz. I'm not sure where it is. Probably like over there or something. Oh no, it's right here. Perfect. Yeah, screw it, dude. Let's just spin it. Ooh, the P90. Let's go. And we got dead shot. So the one time where I'm actually happy because for whatever reason, these guns have terrible hip fire. And when you're on PC, dead shot just increases your hip fire. It doesn't do anything to headshots. The Mac 10. Interesting. Get that nuke cool as well because getting the nukes obviously gives you 400 points which means it like helps go on to the next gun or if his gun looks like a literal brick look at this it's it's so like cubic all right there we go ak-74u one of my favorite smgs of all time my absolute favorite though is the pp90m1 or the pp bison so i'm wondering if that was in mw 2019 i don't remember we got widows Ooh, actually quite rare to get on horizon I mean, then again, we do have like six perks already, so. And we got the Teddy. Oh, oh what? <laughs> I reloaded and Electric Cherry gave me points, so it moved on to the next gun. Oh my god, bro. Well, that was an instant demote. Holy shit, where did you come from? Just go around a corner and there's a Panzer waiting for me. There we go. MP44, which, by the way, is quite literally just the STG, and we're on the M16. Okay. It was never that good in zombies other than like BO1 because for whatever reason, burst guns always just suck in zombies. But in multiplayer, burst guns were always like pretty much the go-to. Absolutely broken. We got the M14 now, the futuristic one. Got a really nice sound to it. And I don't know why this one requires like 2000 points compared to the other ones, but I mean, do we just say fuck it and pack a punch it? Like why not? Oh yeah, we get given a, another M14. Cool, cool. The safe space 1400. Oh, you can like hold it down. It's a two round burst. That's pretty cool. Pew, 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 pew. What is that reload? That's like, <laughs> that's nothing, dude. That's, whew, that's fast. All right, here we go. Dragonov. Oh boy, we're onto the, uh, the snipers. Not one of my favorites, but you know, at least you can kind of spam it. I think it's just the giant scope, man. Like, look at this, dude. It's so impractical for using up close, but I mean, you know, it is a sniper, obviously. But snipers have always just been very mediocre in zombies because why do you need to shoot at a range, you know? Ooh, stamina. I mean, well, obviously you need to shoot at a range so the zombies aren't slapping you, but not an extreme range. You don't need to be sniping from halfway across the map to try and kill the zombies because they'll just respawn over by you anyway. The Remington 700, a bolt action. At least bolt actions are kind of fun to just like try and quick scope with. I'm going to probably punch this though. Ooh, look at that hit marker. That's kind of neat. Got an actual like circle. I mean, surely we'll be able to hip fire pretty well with this. Seems to be. You can kind of fire it quite fast as well, which I appreciate. I'm trying to pack a punch more in this mod because I know when I use weapon packs, I don't typically do it. It's because there are some very questionable names in the pack a punch system. Like, the mod creator made this amazing weapon pack mod for every single COD, pretty much. And then just has the most YouTube advertiser unfriendly names imaginable for some of the pap guns. 
the Lynx. I actually really like this gun. I think I remember getting it. I think it was a DLC or like supply drop gun, but it reminds me a lot of the Honey Badger, but without the actual silencer on the end, which is cool. I'm curious, what's your guys' least favorite zombies map and why? Let me know down in the comments section. I'm just kind of curious because normally I don't like asking the sort of negative questions when it comes to zombies, but everyone's got a map that they just really don't like. And I'm just curious which one it is for you, because for me, it's Beast from Beyond. You know, I'm sure like statistically the actual worst map is something like Infection from Exo Zombies, but for whatever reason, Beast from Beyond just hates me. I'm just, I'm so bad at that map. I think it's because of the whole um, aliens before you turn the power on and the easter egg just being so annoying. Pack a punch the gun. Oh god. Here we go. The boz. The micromanagement. See, these pap names are actually all right. Pew, 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 and we're instantly off it. See, that's why pack a punching in the gun game version isn't too effective because, well, it doesn't last very long. But the G3, this gun was an absolute beast. Oh, we got dogs. Nice. It just has this really cool tint. Obviously, I know dogs make it foggy, but just look at this castle with the fog. It looks so nice. Questioning whether I want to make this my thumbnail or if I want to make it like without the fog with my thumbnail. But I mean, obviously, if you clicked on this video, you're going to know what I chose. Hello, doggo. Single fire weapons in multiplayer were also incredibly good. Single fire and burst, just like a lot of the time, they're the guns that are really difficult to balance because some single fire weapons were like a reliable two shot in some COD games, which is just ridiculous to think about. I mean, in here it was, it's pretty much a one shot, but we have double tap. We got the G36C. This is, uh, if I remember correctly, one of the most meta guns. Got a really cool sounding shot as well. A lot of custom zombies maps actually use the Modern Warfare 2019 guns just because they were like so iconic. Some of the best from newer games, that's for sure. The M4 Carbine, not bad. Like an M16, but you can just spam it. Okay, well, we get to see it again. <laughs> Good job, me. Yeah, that's one of the nice things, though, is you don't have to actually go and rebuy all your perks when you go down. Oh my god, I have a sniper for the Panzer, bro. No, come on, dude. How are you going to do me like this? Okay, I took his helmet off. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Pansy. Bro, he's pretty mad right now. I know, obviously, I do have the death ray, but I'm trying not to use it. Oh, god. Oh, try and run past. Oh my god. Hi, Panzer. Oh, how's, it, how's it going? I tried to run back around. Uh, can we do it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Oh, we got the packet punch. Let's go. Packet punch sniper. I mean, at least this is possibly a way to actually kill him. Oh my god. Move. <laughs> oh god. Spam this shit. Don't spawn behind me. Oh my god. Don't put me on fire, please. This is so terrifying. How did I get to my- Oh, it was a stupid stun grenade, dude. Give me the nuke. Give me the nuke. All right, snipe. There we go. Literally just a one shot with that sniper. Oh, I love the AK, but dear God, that went by fast. <laughs> We've got uh, EBR M21. Nice single fire, like, tactical rifle. XMLR. This must have been a DLC gun. I do not remember this one. I'm actually looking into getting a better microphone, by the way. I know, like, the audio isn't necessarily an issue or anything, but... The S-Tech Aggressor. Oh, it's the, it's the intervention. Let's go, dude. One second. Through the microphone talk, we're going to appreciate this. Absolute iconic gun from Modern Warfare. But yeah, I'm looking into getting a new mic. I'm thinking about the Shaw SM7B, which, if you don't know, that is, like, one of the most expensive, but, like, iconic XLR microphones you could possibly get. So if you open one of my videos in the near future and notice a massive difference in the uh, the quality of my mic, that's the one that I've chosen. It's going to cost me a lot though, and I don't have like an excess of money right now. So hey, if you um, fancy improving the quality of my videos, then feel free to donate or anything. I mean, you absolutely do not have to. I'm not saying that it's a requirement, but any donations that I do get, all of it goes straight into improving the quality of the content. Oh, an LMG. Finally, something cool. Well, I say that, I mean, like, it's not like the guns weren't cool, but I mean, you could just spam the hell out of it, which is nice. Having this much ammo free is, is quite satisfying. The M60, ooh, this one's a bit of a beast. God, the LMG is just, they have this gritty sound to them when you fire. It's just so, so satisfying. Okay, the Bered MK8. Where is the Wonder Fizz? Is it over there? No, it doesn't look like it. Where could it possibly be? Oh, it's all the way at the rocket test facility. That's typical. 
And of course, the rocket test is going off the one time I actually want to go there in this game. Just is what it is, dude. The RPD? Oh my god, let's not go down. It's cool the RPD was actually in Modern Warfare. Like, it, it's one of those guns that crosses over into Treyarch games as well. Sort of been around for the last... Oh my god, we got a death machine. M61 Vulcan. Oh, this is cool. It's got a little Star Trek name. An actual just death machine. I didn't know that was in the game, that's for sure. Maybe it's a kill streak. The PKM? It's just ridiculous how fast you can get off the LMGs or just anything that's full auto. And then if it's a sniper, it takes like 20 years. But of course, we're finishing with the absolutely iconic ray gun. It's a shame because it doesn't do like the bows or anything, but that's because these weapon pack mods aren't like specific to any map. But still, can't really complain about the ray gun. You know what I wish they did in Black Ops 3 Zombies? I wish they put the ray gun Mark II in all of the like just standard BO3 DLC maps. Like, they put it in all the Zombies Chronicles ones, but not the, uh, like, the Reisentrach, Gerard Krovi. It would have been so much cooler if it was just in every single map. Oh, we got an extra perk. Let's go. Mule Kick. Oh, it's just totally useless on this mod. Brilliant. I definitely do not have a PhD, that's for sure. Let's not actually get demoted. Yes, there we go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out this video on screen because YouTube says you might like it. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.